just like you, I love practicing and learning from videos online with the guitar in my hands, just like this. Okay, turns out it's not always so smooth trying to practice along with YouTube when we have to take our hands off the guitar, fumble around with the mouse and the keyboard to pause or rewind the video, then get back into the playing position. I'm certain that over the years I have lost hours and hours and hours of productive learning and practice time because of this inefficient setup. But now that problem has been solved. I've never talked about a piece of gear on my channel before because more gear is not really the answer for our musicianship. Some is necessary, but I'm more into the music and the learning and the practicing and actually getting hands on with the concepts. But what if there's a piece of gear that actually helps with the learning itself? Check this out. This is the Vidami Blue YouTube Looper. It's a wireless hands-free online multi-mode controller. It's compatible with YouTube and a bunch of other online learning platforms, including my website. There's an original Vidami pedal that is a YouTube Looper and it does all those things I just mentioned, but this one is called Vidami Blue, which also controls digital audio workstations like Logic Pro, Pro Tools, GarageBand, Ableton Live, those kinds of applications. And it functions as a page turner, which I've been using recently when practicing some sight reading. I'm gonna show you how this works, but I just wanna say that this pedal has already saved me practice time by allowing me to keep my hands on the guitar and off of the mouse and the keyboard. It's helped me stay focused and get more into a flow state by having the controls at my feet. And it's allowed my practice routine to kind of shift and evolve recently because it's so much easier now to work with videos and practice along with videos. This innovative YouTube looper pedal is gaining a lot of traction. So even though I've never promoted or even reviewed any pedal or piece of gear on my channel before, I wanted to make this Vidami pedal review video to show you how awesome this thing is. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use all the functions of this Vidami blue pedal. And if you're intrigued and wanna try this pedal out for yourself, Vidami gave me a special link and a coupon code just for you so you can get 10% off if you wanna get this pedal. Just click the link in the top of the description and type in Sound Guitar Lessons 10 at checkout to get 10% off. So here's the outline of what we are going to cover in this video. If you want to see how any specific function of this pedal works, you can jump to that section of this video by using the timestamp links in the description. First up is video mode. To switch to video mode, hold speed and forward as you tap back. The blue LED will blink three times to show that you successfully changed modes. Once you're in video mode, you can control multiple aspects of your video learning experience all with your feet. This is a video from one of my courses on my website called Nail the Changes. So we'll use this as a demonstration for the functions of the pedal. Right now it's in the middle of the video. If I hold back, it's gonna go all the way to the beginning of the video. Play and pause is obviously play and pause. If you tap it, the seventh chords are lot easier. It starts and pauses anytime. If you hold forward, you can seek in the video and then press play to fast forward to a spot. So let's loop one of these. This is my root to root exercise outlining major seventh chords. This is uh, one of the exercises I do for mapping out chord types to improvise over chords with. So let's say you want it to specifically loop the D flat chord. So I'm going to find that here. Okay, there's the D flat chord. Okay, I'm gonna go back, and now I know it's right after A flat, so I'm gonna press the loop right before that. Okay, now I'm gonna let the D flat exercise go until it's done, and then press the loop again. Okay. Now it's gonna loop that, and you have to try a couple times to get a perfect loop. That's pretty good. Okay, so now it's looping. Now. If I wanna work on that and slow it down, I can press speed. That's 0 0.75, 0 0.5 speed, and even slower if I want. Okay, now if I wanna reset all of that and just go back to normal, just hold down play and pause. Okay, you can do this all without getting your hands off the guitar at all. So of course I can just press tap forward and move forward any amount, tap back, move back any amount. 
press pause to pause it. The learning curve is really light. I thought it would take me longer to get used to it, but almost within a few minutes, I'm intuitively pressing what I need to press to pause, to loop, to slow down. Um, it's just fantastic. I learning from other players that just random videos of, you know, players that we love and have being able to pause it, slow it down, loop it, try, you know, repeat over and over again, all keeping the hand, guitar in your hands um, is pretty amazing function. Next up is digital audio workstation mode. In DAW control mode, you can remote control applications like Logic Pro, Ableton Live, Pro Tools, GarageBand, and more. You can start and stop recordings. You can duplicate tracks. You can toggle on and off the metronome. You can navigate between markers. I'm a Logic Pro user myself, so I'll demonstrate how this works in Logic. To switch to Logic Pro mode, hold speed and loop as you tap play. The blue LED will blink three times to show you that you successfully changed modes. So here I am in Logic. I'm just gonna record something and then I'll show you the other functions after we have something recorded. If I tap back, it'll just start recording. If I want the metronome in there or not in there, I can use the forward button to toggle it on and off. We'll have the metronome for now. Just record a little something there. Press play and pause to start it over. I'm going to use the speed button on the top and I don't think of it as speed, I just think of it as the top left button. And it's pulling me all the way over to the beginning. Now, when I get to the beginning here, I'm going to actually find where it started recording and then I'm gonna hold down play and pause to make a marker. Then I'm gonna go one, two, three, four and I'll make another marker here. And I'll just make a couple of these just to show you that uh, now that we have markers, I can hold down the top or left, uh, the left or right top buttons, which are speed and loop, but I just think of them as left and right on the top. And you can navigate instantly to the individual markers instead of one measure at a time. And if you just tap them, you go one measure at a time. So very intuitive once you start getting used to it. Now let's go ahead and add a layer to this. This is the coolest part of this. If you hold down the forward button, it creates a new track. I'm just doing this all with my feet. And so now I'm going to go back a measure and press record and record over that. And I might shut the metronome off because I wanna just feel it with the other guitar part. Let's say I wanted to double that first track that I did, so I'll just press record, I'll turn the metronome back on. Now I start getting that lush sound that you get from doubling a track and can just continue to layer from there. Let's switch over and I'll show you the page turner mode. To switch to page turner mode, hold loop and back as you press play slash pause. Once again, the blue LED light will blink three times to show you that you successfully changed modes. While this is gonna be really simple, those top two buttons, right and left, are gonna change your pages forward and backwards, very handy. If you were seeing half of the page of the sheet music, then you can also use play and pause button or the back button. You'd figure this out intuitively, but if, if it wasn't showing the full page, it would scroll to the end of the page or scroll to the beginning of the page with these two other buttons. Because I'm showing the full page, it's just flipping it. And I like to see the whole page and just turn the pages. They're very simple, very, very useful. I used to play a lot of gigs and I played in a bunch of different bands and having a page turner pedal was a light lifesaver when needing to read off of lead sheets or sheet music during gigs or during rehearsals. And I actually bought a couple page turner pedals in the past. One of them was almost as much as the Vidami pedal costs and all it did was 
change pages. So pretty cool that Vidami can do all these multiple functions. If you're interested in getting a Vidami pedal for yourself, you can use the link in the top of the description and type in Sound Guitar Lessons 10 at checkout to get 10% off. Yes, that is an affiliate link. You get 10% off the retail price and a small portion of your payment comes back to me to help out my channel so I can keep the lessons coming week after week like I've been doing for the last few years. I tried to make this video really practical and organized so you can use this video as a reference if you need reminders on how to use any of those modes or functions with the Vidami Blue Pedal. If you're looking for something to watch next, I recommend watching my video tutorial on John Mayer's song, Slow Dancing in a Burning Room. That lesson comes to mind when I think of a video lesson that would be just so perfect to have a pedal like the Vidami pedal to have a YouTube looper. Uh, I break down just a small portion of John Mayer's intro for slow dancing in a burning room and analyze it and show how we can practice the voice leading and the inversions of the couple chords that he uses all over the guitar in a very systematic exercise. Having a pause and loop and slow down function for something like that would be really cool. So I recommend watching that video next if you want to check it out. It's a really cool lesson. I'll put a link to it on the screen here if you're watching on YouTube and there's also a link in the description if you want to grab it from there. I post a new lesson video every week. Next week's lesson is on Wes Montgomery's D Natural Blues Melody. It's one of my favorite jazz blues melodies of all time. I'm going to show you how to play it with octaves on the guitar. Can't wait for that lesson. Hope to see you there. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and happy practicing.